Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to cover how to get the Balloons Tower Defense Battles Password for the Windows version, the Steam version, and the Android version. It is possible to get the password for iOS and Mac, but I don't have access to a Mac, so I can't try it. And the iOS version is complicated as hell and involves jailbreaking, so I'm not going to do that. I might make a video on those in the future. Also, while we'll be getting the password for different OS versions of the game, we're going to be doing all the work on a Windows computer. So here's how we're going to do the video. We're going to start off with the setup, which is going to be the same for every single version of the game you're trying to get the password for. This is going to include installing the necessary tools and files to get everything ready. Then we're going to do getting started. Getting started is going to be setting up the individual version that you're trying to get the password for. So if that was Steam, you'd be getting started with Steam, or if it was Windows Store version or Android version. Steam and Windows Store are going to be exactly the same. Android is going to have a slightly different method to it. I'm going to cover the Steam and Windows Store version, and then I'm going to cover Android. And then when I'm done covering Android, we'll move on to Finish Up, which is the same for all versions. So we're going to set everything up, get all of our files in order, then we're going to actually start getting it ready for the version we're trying to get the password for. And then regardless of what version we're trying to do it on, we're going to finish up with the exact same method. I'll have timestamps in the description of the video for each part so you don't have to watch the whole thing and you can just skip to right where you need to go. So to get started, we're going to make a new folder on our desktop. I'm going to call this BTD Passwords. Then I'm going to go to the Discord server, which is linked in the description below. You're going to need to give yourself the BTD role by going to role assignments and typing dot I am BTD. When you have the BTD role, you'll be able to see the BTD server, uh, the BTD channels. So simply click on how to get password yourself and you'll see the tutorial we have for getting the password for yourself. If you click the pin messages at the top, click that and you'll see the links for the files we need to download. You need to get the right version for your operating system. So if you have a 32-bit computer, you have to get the 32-bit version or the 64-bit version if you have the 64-bit. To find that out, click the start button, type in control panel, open up control panel. If yours doesn't look like mine does, click on view by and select small icons. Now click on system and right here you can see system type is 64-bit. So I have 64, I need the 64-bit version. If you have 32-bit, you need to get the x86 version, which means 32-bit. We're going to start off by clicking on directory prompts link, and we're going to download it to the folder we just made on our desktop. Just click download and save it to that location, and then download the proper version you need of, for strings 2 and John TR. Mine is 64-bit, so I'm getting 64-bit. Now I'm going to create two new folders by right-clicking, clicking new, and then folder. The first one I'm going to call strings. The second one I'm going to call John TR. For this next part, we're going to need 7-zip. If you don't have 7-zip or a program that can open zip files, go to Google and download 7-zip. I'm going to start by opening up the John folder, and I'm going to copy the John folder into our John TR folder that we just created. I'm going to open up the strings2 folder, and I'm going to copy these two files into my strings folder that we created. We're also going to need to use the task manager. To open that up, press Control alt delete click on task manager, and we're going to have to change something. If yours looks like this, click on more details, then right click on name or status or any one of these little tabs and make sure PID is checked. For those of you wondering, PID is short for process identifier. It's a unique number that identifies each of the running processes in the operating system and it changes every time you run it. So my PID is going to be different than yours. We're going to close our task manager for now. We're also going to need to know how to open the command prompt as administrator. You can do that one of two ways. Right click inside the folder you want to open it in, hover over command prompts and click command prompt elevated, which will open it as administrator. Notice at the top, it says administrator. It also says this path right here. This path is the same as this folder that I opened it in. Later in the video, we're going to be doing that for both the John TR folder and strings folder. If you don't see the command prompts option when you right click in the folder, press the start button on your taskbar, type in command prompt, then right click it, click run as administrator. 
Now we've run it as administrator, as you can see, but we're not in the right folder. So go back to the folder you want to be in for the command prompt. You're going to copy the path at the top, then go back to the command prompt. You're going to type in CD space and then right click with the mouse and it'll automatically paste the uh, path that we just copied. If you press enter, you'll see we are now in the folder and this is how you do it. Lastly, we're going to need to run directory prompts.reg. So double click on it, click run. It'll give you an error saying this could be bad. It's safe. You're okay to do this. So click yes. We've now finished the setup. So I'm going to give this a nice big check. Next, we're going to cover how to do the Steam and Windows Store version. If you're trying to do this for Android, check the description of the video and you'll see a timestamp. Click on that timestamp and it'll take you right to how to do this for Android. So for Steam and Windows Store, start the game like normal. When you get to the main menu, minimize the game and open up your task manager. You should see Balloons Tower Defense Battles with a PID number. My PID number is 8044. Yours will be different. If you're using the Windows Store version, right click or double click on Balloons Tower Defense Battles and click Expand, and then you're gonna see the PID numbers. If you do not see PID numbers, you just have to double click on it to open it up. We're gonna be getting the one for Balloons Tower Defense Battles 32-bit. We are not gonna be doing the runtime broker. We'll also need the data.jet for the version that we're trying to get the password for. If you're trying to get it for Steam, go to your library, go to BTD Battles, right click on it, hover over Manage, and you're going to go to Browse Local Files. A window like this is going to come up, just click on Assets, and there is your data.jet. I'm going to copy this and paste it in the folder we've been working in. If you're trying to get the password for the Windows Store version, you're going to have to go to the Windows Apps folder to get the data.jet. To find that, go to your file browser, click on View at the top, and then click on Hidden Items so it is checked. Then go to your Program Files, scroll down until you Windows Apps. From here, you're going to right-click it, click Properties, and go to Security. Next, click Advanced. Next, you're going to change the owner to the username on your PC. I've already changed mine, but more than likely yours is going to say Trusted Installer right here. So to change that, click Change. Type in your username on your PC and then click Check Names. And if you typed it in right, it'll pop up with the name of your PC slash your name. And just simply click OK and then it'll be good. Click OK once more. Click OK once more. And then you'll be able to open up the folder. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, more than likely, you can get to the BTD Battles folder, click on Assets. There is your data.jet for the Windows Store. So I'm gonna copy that and paste that in the folder. Where so we've finished getting started for Steam and the Windows Store. So I'm just gonna put a nice check mark there. If you're trying to get the password for Steam or Windows Store, check the description and there's gonna be a timestamp for how to do finish up. It'll just fast forward so you can skip the part on Android, which is what I'm gonna cover right now. If you're trying to get the password for the Android version, go back to the Discord, make sure you're in the Get Password Yourself channel, and then you're gonna download BlueStacks Emulator. When it's finished installing, go ahead and open it up, and then go to the Google Play Store, which you'll see on the main screen. You'll have to log into your account and then download Balloons Tower Defense Battles. When you finish downloading Balloons Tower Defense Battles, go ahead and open it up and wait until you get to the main menu. Alright, so I'm at the main menu. I'm going to open up the task manager again. And when you see BlueStacks at the top, double click on it. We're going to be looking for the BlueStacks Android host. If your task manager doesn't look like this, it looks a lot more like this. Just click on the more details and then double click on BlueStacks, and again, we want the PID number for BlueStacks Android host. So save this number for later. Also, your PID number will not be the same as mine, so you're gonna wanna copy yours, not mine. Now we need to get your data.jet, which is gonna be on your Android device. To do this, get your Android phone, and make sure Balloons Tower Defense Battles is installed and updated. If you need to, go to the main menu just once and then close the game. Then go to the App Store and download an app called APK Extractor. It can pretty much be any of the ones in the App Store as long as it's got around four stars. Wait for the app to install and then open it. It'll take a second to load, but then it'll show every app installed on your phone. 
scroll down until you see Balloon's Tower Defense Battles, and all you have to do is click on it, and then it'll start extracting the APK. This will take about 30 seconds at most, and then it'll say it finished extracting the APK to a certain path on your phone. That means we've finished. However, you're not going to see it until you restart your phone, so you're going to want to restart your phone, and then when it's done restarting, plug it into your computer. So I've plugged my phone in, now i got to get the APK off of my phone. To access my phone storage, I'm going to go to the start button right here at the bottom. I'm going to right click and click on file browser. And I get to this page. This is my phone. To access the files, I simply double click on it and we can see there's my internal storage. If you don't see anything here, make sure your phone is turned on. Make sure you've gotten to the main screen of your phone. Usually when you plug your phone into a computer, it'll ask you if you're trying to charge it or transfer pictures or whatever. We're going to be doing a file transfer, which is not the same thing as transferring pictures. If all you see is transfer pictures, then that might be what you have to do, but we're not going to be doing that. So to get the APK from our Android phone, open up internal storage and go to a folder that looks like APK extractor or something with a similar name like extracted APKs or whatever. And then here's our APK file. We're going to copy this and then we're going to paste it in the directory we've been working in. So I'm going to paste it in here. And for this part, we're going to need 7-zip. All right, so it's finished pasting. If you don't have 7-zip, you can go to Google and download 7-zip. I'm merely go going to right click on this uh, APK file, com.ninjakiwi.bloomstardefensebattles, hover over 7-zip and click open archive. If you don't see that option, you can do what we did earlier on in the video to navigate to this folder inside of 7-Zip and then open this from within 7-Zip. Anyways, we're going to open up Assets, Assets one more time, and here is our data.jet. I'm going to copy this and just drag and drop into this folder I have right here for all the data.jets. Rename this to uh, BTD. You don't have to do this part. Perfect. We're now ready to get the passwords. So I have this folder here, data.jet, with these three different files. You're not going to have that unless you're trying to convert all the files. Yours is just going to be called data.jet. So for this tutorial, I'm only going to be getting the password for the Steam version because I feel it's the easiest, but it's the same for every single version, so it doesn't matter which version you use. I'm going to be using the Steam version, so I'm going to paste it in here. Since I named it something else, I'm going to rename it to data.jet. Then what we're going to do is go into the strings folder and we're going to right click command prompts and do command prompt elevated. If you don't have that option earlier in the video, we cover how you can um, open this otherwise. The command that we're going to be typing is on this page in our discord server in the uh, get password yourself channel. It is right here. So what we're going to be typing is this line. So make sure you're running as administrator and then type strings to space dash PID space the number or your PID number which is going to be different for everybody but I'm doing mine on the uh, Steam version so mine is going to be 204 if you're doing this for Android remember you're going to be doing the blue stacks Android host version and if you're doing this for Windows Store you're going to have to double click on BCD5 to get the PID anyways to continue then I'm going to do greater than sign space strings dot txt now if that's not working for you if you're confused go on the discord server and look at it a little closer i'll have this line linked in the description as well now from this part if you got the wrong version if you didn't get the uh, proper version of strings 2 uh, you're going to get an error here so if you got that error just scroll back up to the top in this little channel and get the version for the operating system that you have and then try again. So we've done that part. I'm going to close our command prompt. I'm going to go back to our strings folder. And now we have this new file strings.txt. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to go to the John TR folder. I'm going to open up that until I get to this run folder. And I'm inside the run folder. I'm going to paste strings to. Now we're also going to be pasting our data.jet. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste it in the run folder as well. Now we're going to right click, command prompts, command prompts elevated. So now we're running as administrator. The command we're going to type now is right here under step five. 
So we're gonna type zip to the number two, John space data dot jet greater than sign data dot hash enter. Now my screen's going crazy. If this isn't happening for you, you got the wrong version, just like with uh, the strings.exe, you got the, for the wrong OS, so you're gonna have to uh, install the right version. Anyway, so that part is finished. We've got one more part to do. We're gonna do the command here under uh, part 5.2. So go ahead and type John space dash dash word list equals strings dot E oops txt space data dot hash and if you press enter we've now got our password but it doesn't really look like it yet because we have to get it so go back to our run folder and scroll up until you see john dot pot and you can right click on it open with and I'm gonna click choose another app more apps and I'm gonna open this with notepad you can open it with whatever you want and right here at the very end of this giant long line is our password. So this is the most updated password for Bloom's Tower Defense 5, sorry, Bloom's Tower Defense Battles Steam Edition. And that's it. We've got the password. You can do this exact same method we just did for every single version of Bloom's Tower Defense Battles, regardless of the operating system. This is why I split the video up the way I did, because I didn't want to have to repeat this one process three different times when it's the same for each game. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope this helps everybody. Uh, hopefully now um, we're not going to have an issue with getting the latest password because this is pretty easy. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. Bye.